And Karen, what, what real life art world-class collectors did you, eccentric collectors, did you meet in the process of studying for this role? Um, I didn't meet any, any actual collectors per se, but I've met a lot of people at, at auction houses over the years that who were particularly interesting people that I spent time with and chatted with after or prior to an auction. And because I grew up in the art world, my, my father was a portrait painter, my grandfather was a portrait painter, uh, for the royal family actually. And uh, so, that was, and my mother, being an interior designer, I went to a lot of auctions for her, with her for, for, for mainly for furniture and, anti and antiques. And uh, so I grew up in that world, and so I met a lot of people in the art world growing up. And so I just downloaded a lot of people uh, as, a, as, as a young man, and, and never knowing that one day, you know, that that would end up being beneficial for me in creating Davenport. But yeah, so I see sort of amalgamation of a number of people I've met along my travels. And, and are, are a lot of these collectors, are they very eccentric because... Oh, sure. Well, in the art world is quite eccentric. You think Why? That? Why? Well, because art is really in the eye of the beholder. You've heard that line before. But, you know, what you're willing to pay for art is really what, what you think it's worth. You know, most people... When, when they hear that a Picasso's gone for $197 million, you, you, know, you turn to your partner or a friend and go, oh my gosh, look at that, they paid that for that, I mean, it's Picasso, I know, I get it, that's crazy. Well, that's what the market dictates that piece of art is worth. And somebody wants that on their wall and is willing to fork out that kind of money. So it's, it's, it's in some cases, it's, it's uh, you know, you look at a, at a Picasso, you go, okay, well, Picasso is one of the great masters of all time, and you can't possibly question that number, that figure. But then you hear about other artists, who, in my case, that I've never heard of, and I go, my God, that's quite steep for that piece of canvas that has nothing on it. And, <laughs> and you go, wow, okay. So it's, it's, it's a very eccentric world where people, there are people who determine what artists are worth based on their judgment of what that artist is worth. And it's, some, it's arbitrary sometimes, you know, it's, it can be somebody who is a flash in the pan one year and the next year they, they're not worth that in anything like that figure anymore. So it's a, it's a market that's, that, that, that's lucid and it's filled with eccentric people, my gosh. Uh, I just went to an auction last month and it was a for Ringo Starr. And uh, so there were quite some eccentric little maniacs there. And uh, I ended up buying a piece, but uh, I met some really, <laughs> let me put it this way, very colorful people while I was there. <laughs>